So what we're going to do now is we're going to solve an equality, uh, an inequality. This is the one that we're going to solve. Um, so you can really treat it like an equation with one big exception. So we solve it just like it is an equation, um, except I'll show you the one thing that we need to be careful of when we solve inequalities. So for this one there, we want to find out what all the values are on the number line that make x true. Okay, so I need to get x by itself. So the obvious thing is I times both sides by 2, so that this 2 cancels out. I'm left with 3, take x greater than 10, uh, greater than or equal to 10. Now I've got a plus 3 here, so I'm going to take 3 from both sides. That leaves me with negative x greater than and equal to 7. Now here's the big one. Um, this in fact is negative 1x because that's that's the um, coefficient of x. So to do this I divide by negative 1 and divide by negative 1 and here's the big rule okay and I'm doing a big asterisk on this um, the big rule when we do inequalities is when we divide through by a negative number what we have to do is flip the sign. I'll explain why this is in a second but take it from me in this case here that x will be left by itself. We flip the sign from a greater than and equal to to a less than and equal to and 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. So this is all the values on the number line so if we did draw a quick number line here so we've got negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. Um, this will be all the values of 9 and below. Now why do you have to flip the sign? So let's do a quick proof of that. Here's an example. Let's think of a value of this one here. So to, again to solve this if I divided by negative 4, actually let's not do this one, let's do, I'm going to change that to, let's scrub that out and let's have that as 8. So if I was to solve this according to my rule there before, I divide by negative 4 on both sides, x, and when I've divided by a negative number I flip the sign and that will be negative 2. Now why is that the case? Well let's just go back a bit. Okay, one more. So let's think of a value of x that makes this true. Let's just say x equals 1. If I sub it in, what we've got here is negative 4 times 1 less than 8. Okay, so what's negative 4 times 1? It's negative 4 is less than 8. Okay, now if we divide this by negative 1 and divide this by negative 1, that is a negative number, let's see what happens. We get 4 is less than negative 8. We know that's not true. No, it's simply not true that 4 is less than negative 8. It's in fact greater than negative 8. So when we divide through by a negative here, we need to keep the inequality true. And that means that when we divide through by a negative, that's not the case. It is that 4 will be greater than negative 8 in this case. So that's why we have to flip the signs whenever we divide through by a negative because it keeps the inequality statement um, true. Okay, so that's just a quick proof of that. So any inequality um, you solve like a simple equation or like a more complex equation and anytime you divide through by a negative number you flip the sign.